Hello, Seven Days to Die audience. So glad you're here. So glad to do video. Hope you're having an awesome day, evening, or whatever time you're watching this video. I'm excited to do another Seven Days to Die beginner's tip video, and this will be episode three in the series. So if you remember last time we left off, I found my base and which is this house here with the well and I started building out my base. So, you know, there's a bunch of different videos on how to build bases on seven days to die. So I just want to clarify, you know, there's certain bases that you can build where you know, it's, it's a lot easier than I'm, what I'm doing right now. You can uh, build with, um, you know, a floor with bars. So you're hitting things down underneath you. You can build, there's builds to guide all the uh, zombies into one direction and one tube. There's a lot of different builds. I just like playing this way with this build. So this is certainly not the best build out there. There's other builds out there. And the reason why I, I like playing with this build because it, it makes me play the game. It makes me kill them. It makes me move around. They're not all stuck to one area. I just enjoy playing and, and it's a good way that I can get a base up and running uh, quickly within a, within a few days in the, in the game. So I'm gonna talk about my, my build. So before I do, and other things that I'm gonna do today is, let me go get some wood. I need some wood. Did I get that? No. Nope. Unfortunately, on my computer, the game glitches every once in a while where it's loading information and it just pauses for a second. It's a little annoying, not completely. I think I need a, the game is on my hard drive, not my flash drive, so I need to try to move the game over to the flash drive and I think it'll run a lot smoother. All right, so I need some wood. How much wood do I have right now? 150, let's get one more tree right now. Let's get you over here. So the things that I want to show today, I want to real quickly show you the build and how I build my, my base out. I want to, we discovered, I've already went in that church. That was just a church, no graveyard. So we discovered Shamrock Foods close by, which was a store, not the warehouse. So I want to go in there, pick out some food, hopefully get some water. And then I also want to go to a church. So I want to show you three things, base, church, and shamrock foods. And hopefully I can get that all done in, in a reasonable amount of time. So let me go in here and grab a few items. I want my blocks. Yes. And do I already have wood logs? Yes. Okay, let's move that down there. I got my shovel. Let's go ahead and repair that. Got my axe. Let's go ahead and repair that. I got some things. Let me clear out some things real quick that I know I don't need with me. And let's make an arrow. All right, and I want to build. So the center bars. Bars centered. Okay. Uh, all they do is take six wood. Let's build ten more. And we're building craft. Okay, make sure when you build this, it's centered bar and not the wood bars. Uh, so the center bar makes sure it shows up in the center of the wood logs where the other one would show more towards the top or the, the bottom. And the other one's good for like, 
you doing it on the floor, like you got a ramp or you got a ledge you want to do, that's good to use the other one. So, first of all, I dig. I like a level underneath because then they don't damage their blo the blocks. They're easier to hit. I got full access to hit them. I use to get the spacing right because I screw it up all the time. I put down wood blocks and count how many I want out before I do the wall and make sure I copy it on this side. So I do that. So I get the proper placement. And then I also do it out this direction too and decide what, what type of placement. This way, I know I put it out and I know when I'm digging, I'm doing a straight line and then it's exactly where I want to want it to be. See, like up, up here in front, I screwed up a little bit. So I had to fill those spots, spots in. So that's what, and then when I'm done with the placement, I pick up my blocks. And so I also use a square box to figure out where I want my wood logs placement. I like it to be consistent and not all overboard. So I kind of count out, okay, one, two, three, four, place a wood block. And, and then I do one, two, three, four, place a wood block. And then I make sure that you know, there's not a, there's enough space here in the center that makes sense. It may not be even 100% even because if you could give an example here, this is one, two, three, four, five, but I think it visually it looks decent. So I did one, two, three, four. So let's go to the wood logs. I thought I put, the, oh yeah, there's nine. One, two, three, four. And the reason why I use the blocks is because the logs, once you place it, you cannot pick up a log. The blocks you can re-pick up. Two, three, four, and place. Let's go over here. One, two, three, four, and place. So there is, I gotta build a couple more logs. Logs. So let's do, all I need is three more. And then I'm going to place a block to jump me up high so I can put that third level on. There you go. And there you go. So there, now I go to the bars. What is that, four? Okay. So make sure you left click to get the right, uh, make sure it's in the center. And if it's not in the right direction, you need a left click to move it around and then right click to place. So these are my bars. And give you an example of up here, right here. So I actually go up three levels and then I put a square block on top. So that's my ledge that I walk around. And then, and then once I got the square blocks on top, here, let me build a bar, 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 bar. Now this one's going to be a non-centered one. Okay, so I'll build, let's build four of those. Okay, I'll place those here. And show you examples of nine. All right, so that's not in the right spot, right? It won't work there. And it's not... I'm hitting the left and it's not going to the right spot. So this is where you have to hit R. You hold R down and this allows you advanced placement. So this allows you to go all different directions. So I click on advanced placement. Now I can left click 
it will do that and then it'll start switching other directions and so I want it up on top that's where I want it but I also want it kind of want it facing the other direction that's the, that's the way I want it exactly like that There you go. So there's my ledge. That's what I do walking on and shooting down and getting over and attacking the zombies without jumping down and joining the fight. So there's a kind of rough overview. The next video, we'll, we'll finish up the base and I'll uh, show you the final touches. So let's get these out of here. Don't need that need to keep this food with me because I do not have any food. And let's move this down here in case I need any heals. Okay, let's go out. If I remember, the shamrock foods was over here in the corner. Ah, chicken. Chicken. Where are you? I am horrible at tracking chicken. I lose them all the time. I think I saw him. I think he went around the corner. Another hint. If you see a dog house in a home, expect that dog to be somewhere. It could be in the house. It could be in the yard. Expect a dog, a zombie gar dog to be there. So right now at this level, I avoid this. Give me some feathers. I need feathers. Chicken. There we go. I missed. Okay, I'm gonna switch closer. Got him. Got the zombie. Here you go. I'm gonna knock that cowboy hat right off your head. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna kill ya. Let's get our bone knife out. And let's get those feathers. In that meat. I can use some meat. I got plenty of eggs. I can make some Bacon and eggs. Oh, there's a tree house over there. Okay, where am I trying to find the shamrock foods? I got turned around. Where is it? I marked it. Oh, yeah, I marked it. Duh. Just follow the red. So the way to mark something, you just you get your map up and you right click and save waypoint. So that's a quick way to mark something. Love searching mailboxes. And I think I already searched this car. Love searching cars. Mailboxes you find usually like something to improve your skills. Oh. I don't want to activate this. So this is the job that I got from the trader. So you'll see uh, an exclamation point. I walk on that and I could start that job. And I think it was uh, a clear zombies or was it a fetch something? It was either fetch or clear zombies. And it will remind you exactly what you're supposed to do. But all I want to do is go here. Here's the bunny. I see one zombie already inside. See that guy right there? There's a zombie over here. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out that one zombie. Did I hear a wolf? Did I hear growling? I could be really bad at the arrow sometimes.
going to switch to my club. He's got a long ways to go, and I'm just going to whack him. One. Two. You're already down. And three. These guys are a little tougher to kill. Also, take it, make some arrows. How much stone? I got plenty of stone, plenty of wood. So let's start making those arrows. This is actually pretty big shamrock foods. bet there's something good in here. I'll take it. I will take it. I need some food. I'll probably end up drop, dropping that yarn. Careful opening up dump, dumpsters. It could wake up zombies inside. Oh, it's unlocked. Okay, so this is a way to go in. Okay, where are you? Know you're around here somewhere. Don't forget to look up. A lot of times, you don't see something right away. They fall through the ceiling. Nothing over here? All right. Ooh, I'm going to close that. Don't want anyone sneaking up on me. Look up here. Okay, let's try going up there again. I think I saw a backpack. I hear something walking outside. So let's go ahead and take care of the zombie that's outside. Because eventually, she will hear me, she will come after me, Ooh, I let her hit me, and then back to her. Ooh. I'm going to get this bunny, I'm going to get this bunny, okay, calm down, relax, gain your energy. I have some time to get this bunny. Finally. That hurt you? Did that hurt you? That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. And that's gonna hurt. Alright, let's get some meat. Need some meat. at you bunny I had to work to get you sorry bunny you're cute but I need some meat have some leather okay nothing here I was hoping there were some crates if we're towards the back That's locked. So, one of the things about this game is all the places that kind of guide you in a certain direction, and that kind of takes you through the whole house. So, it, it obviously it takes you towards zombies. Like I could try to shortcut it to get to the office and hammer through here, but I don't want to sit there and work on it. So, I'm gonna go this direction. No zombies yet. Backpack. I'll take you. Okay. I'm gonna close that. So 
So obviously I'm going to have to go one of these directions. This is locked. That is locked, but it's easy to get through. This is probably just a restroom. Let me get some that sweet toilet water. Yes, four. Good. I got some water. Okay, let's go ahead and read this. Or use it. Goldenrod recipe. Now I can make goldenrod. So I'm just going to go ahead and I don't want this. I'm going to go ahead and scrap these two. Scrap. Scrap. So if I'm starting to run low on space, uh, like I'll start putting things back in cabinets, like oil I don't need right now. But I'm so close to my house too, that my home base that I can just go dump stuff off and then go off. Let's go back here. Wasn't there, wasn't there a ladder? I saw a ladder. Oh, it was in the office. There's a ladder to the roof. So, on the roof. Expect the zombies to be there. Expect the possibilities of vultures there, too. I don't want that sewing kit. That's locked. I'm not going to go that direction right now. I'm going to go this direction. Let's get back to killing. All right, something fell. A zombie fell. See? I heard your flesh on the ground. Your flesh just went plop, plop. Okay. Where are you? I hear you. Ooh. A bike schematic. Bike frame. Bike chases. All right, my club needs to be repaired before I go up here. So, fully got a red light. There's going to be a battle up here. Get ready. Get ready for a battle. All right, what am I hitting on? Did I hit the Bob wire hit me? Okay, I fully expect there's going to be vultures up here somewhere. But I have honey. So a lot of time on the roof, that's where the good stuff is at. That's where the real good stuff is at. No zombie yet. What's in here? There you are! And you scared me! You scared me! You should scare me. See my hand jerk there? Yes, it's true. This game does scare me a little bit sometimes. Ah! So an airplane's coming by. Where are you? Can I see you? There you are. He already dropped my supplies. So you hit map. There it is. There's the supply drop. I like to save a waypoint there, and the reason why, or quick waypoint, uh, is if you happen to not go there and overnight, this thing will disappear. And you, uh, let's say you exit the game, that will disappear. So doing a quick waypoint, make sure uh, you don't forget it. Nope, not getting in there. Oh, there's a vulture. I knew you were here. And there's a zombie up there, too. Did I get infected? No. Okay, good. You snuck on. Um, you didn't scare me, though. I was already brave. Because I already got scared. Oh, well, that's a dead zombie. More feathers. 
More feathers and an egg. Feathers. Getting lots of feathers. Lots of feathers. Ah! More feathers. And more eggs. Did I get... Yes. Anything I want to drop up here. Don't need this. Let's drop you. 51. How many arrows? I have 117. I'm not going to make any arrows. I'm putting fine in arrows. <laughs> Nothing up there. Okay. Fully expect a full battle once I drop, drop down here. Get ready. Ooh. Okay. Now these, once I step down here, I will fall to the ground. So this is this is a way to the other side, I believe, from that gate. So do I see anything? Yep, there's there's so like if I step here. Let's see. These are gonna fall. I think that one I won't fall. These are gonna break. Yep. Oop, that one broke. All right, I was wrong. Okay, these, I think these were saying that those were breaking. All right, well, I made it to the weapon bag. What part did I get? Rad remover mod and arrow. Okay, where are you? Oh, there's three of them. Uh, I'm right here in this area, so I'm just going to fuck. Slowly hit them with arrows. Until they're down. They're down for the count. There's one. I got plenty of arrows. So I don't need to be in a hurry to go down there. I can finish them off. I may not make it to the church on this episode. I think I'm just going to finish out the shamrock foods. And next episode we'll go to the church. And the base should be done by then. So I'll show you finishing up the base. I'm poking holes in you. You got a lot of holes. Jeez, come on. Of course, I'm not aiming for the head, so that's... I'm using a ton of arrows. Aim for the head. Of course, I aim for the head when I do when I miss. There you go. Last one. Stay still so I can hit you. Just stay still. Don't quit your moving. Alright, I'm just going to finish you off with the club. All these arrows back. Give me my arrows. That's the guy who I saw through the window. Where are you? Oh. I can finish you off from here. Right through? I didn't think he'd go right through. And hit me. Stupid ledge. Jeez, I got hit. Well, time to eat some food anyways. That will heal me up a bit. How am I doing on water? Gonna have to drink maybe that red tea. Where are you? I hear you. Ah, oh, there's wood piles. Where 
Where are you? Oh, I think you're outside. All right, well, we're going to start clearing off the shelves, hopefully getting some food. Why are you... Why are you being so difficult? I see you. I see you still there. I see you, but you don't see me yet. You have no idea where I'm hitting you from, do you? Now you do. break through right there Fine. look at you gushing blood all over the place I'm not gonna clean that up you clean it up I'm not gonna clean it up empty 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 I swear to God if I don't get in much food out of here so if you have coin, you can buy food. I never buy food, though. There we go. Food. Empty. Empty. Nothing there. Still another zombie somewhere. The cash register is empty. Nothing there. Oh, there you are. Is that a live zombie? Oh, you, you are alive over there. I see you trying to fake me out. Oh, both alive. Uh, I need to repair my bow. Wasn't paying attention. So I'm getting some canned food. That's what my goal was. I wanted to get some canned food. Get a little bit of water. My bow is repaired. Repaired. Where are you? Oh, up above. You sneaky. You're sneaky. You're a sneaky guy, you. Ooh. Are you just going to hang out up there? Go ahead. I'll just keep on poking you with arrows. Until you are done with. Oh, that looked cool. That looked cool. Nothing in the freezer. Well, I'm not getting a lot of stuff here so far. There we go. There's some stuff. There's st still another zombie that I'm going to have to kill. There we go. Finally. We're starting to get some stuff here. Is that my stomach or a zombie? I think it was a zombie. Empty, empty, empty. Not empty over here. There we go. Where are you? Where are you? I heard you. There you are. Back off. Back off. Back off. I'm busy here. I got shelves to clear. Ooh. 
that would be a nice thing to get into at some point. I'm not going to waste my time right now. Need a pickaxe. Level up a little bit. But I have to remember that. Don't forget that. Anything in produce? Anything in produce? No produce? Oh, come on. Who's not keeping up with the produce? Dog food. So in foods, let me just click on the, like the dog food. So it tells you exactly. So I get, it uh, fills up five spots on our five points of food. I don't know how it works or, you know, what, how much represents a point. Gives you a little bit of health, stamina, no. Uh, zero but chance on diarrhea. I thought pet food gives you a chance of diarrhea. So... Here's five health. So this is soups gives you some water. Um, these are good, like the salmon. See, fifteen food health seven. So those are all good foods. Let me go ahead and scrap this. Make some lead. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more arrows. Open up some spot. So I'm finally getting a ton of food. And a pill. So these are pharmacy shelves. So that's generally health stuff. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back here. I think we're almost done in all the areas. Some lead. I need a grill top. I need to find a grill top. So I can make regular ham or regular beef. Okay, good thing is uh, I'm finding a lot of eggs, so I still can make bacon and eggs right now. Fountain machines, you could go in there, and usually there is some type of drink there. A lot of times there's energy drinks. Okay, was this that one door in the hallway? I think this is that one door. So, I will officially be done. Almost done with this thing. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I hammer away, I hammer away, hammer away at the door. I'm getting tired. I finish that door. Come on, one more hit. You can do it. Okay. So, oh, you're unlocked. You're unlocked. Oh, one zombie's still in there. Go ahead. I did not expect you to be unlocked. Yeah, I hit you. You hit me. We hit each other. Hey, you know, your underwear showing there. It's not, it's not appealing. Okay, I gotta jump over here. Let's get over here. Get some, I need some resting. Oh, you're running. Are you dead? Okay, you're dead. All right, yeah. I did not expect this to be unlocked. So this is where the mother load's at. What are we going to find in the mother load? Now, unfortunately, I'm still at level one. So, weapon wise, I don't think it, a half eaten sandwich. I don't think I'm going to find anything major. I'll find ammo. See, ammo. Let's see what's in the chest. What's in the chest? All right, some armor. So I could go ahead and wear that. More armor. And which I already had. 
So let's collect all this stuff. So level one, you generally, you may find a level one handgun. Generally you find parts, you find ammo, uh, and you may find some other type of weapon, but generally not uh, handguns right away. All right, so we finished the whole area. We are out of here. I'm gonna head back to home base. I'm gonna rest up a little, dump off some stuff. And what time is it? What time is it? 1800, 1900? Uh, don't know. What I'm probably going to do is, is work on the base more. Uh, get some resources. Because uh, there's not enough time to get to the house. This took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, so I'm just going to... I'm carrying all this heavy stuff. I got to make it to my house and dump stuff. I got to eat food. I got water to drink. It's been a long day. It was a rough day. But we survived. All right. Hope you liked this video. Hit thumbs up. Subscribe. Definitely more videos coming out on 7 Days to Die. And I will throw in tips while I'm playing. Have an awesome day.